Right guys, our next test, it's voltage, no load. That can be done at your main TV board or your sub TV board, depends on where you want to do it. You can do it with any standard multimeter. Please make sure when you measure your voltage or what board it is, if it's three phase, what the voltage is, make sure your multimeter is in spec with it. Here I've got an MT1003, which is perfectly in spec for a single phase TV board like this. So I do the testing, you put your main switch off because it's voltage, no load. There must be no load, not anywhere. You switch your multimeter on to volts AC. You do the test from your supply neutral to your incoming live. First you short your leads out to make sure your meter is working. Go to your supply neutral, your live in, test it. Make sure there's no load. That's the next test. It's voltage, full load. The way you test it is make sure at your main sub TV board or wherever you want to test it, you get your maximum load. Your mains must be on, everything must be on so you can get your maximum load. It's the same as the no, no load test. Switch your multimeter on, put it on volts, go to your supply. Neutral, short your leads out, make sure your meter is working. And then from your main supply of your neutral to your incoming live, you can test it. And guys, make sure on your no load and your full load test, on the nominal voltage, is a 10% up or 10% down scale when you measure it. Right guys, the next test is your worst case voltage or your volt drop as they call it. Where you measure that is normally your furthest point of consumption, whether it's a plug, a double plug or a light switch or whatever. You go to that furthest point of consumption, put a load onto that point, which must be more than 50% of the circuit value and not less than 2 amps. If you put that load onto that circuit, and it's exceeding that consumption of more than 50% or 2 amps. You will take your multimeter, put it on your voltage, and you measure your voltage where it can't be more than 5% difference or 5% volt drop as they call it. 